Hey there guys, Michael J.H. Hayes here and today I'm demonstrating the Cuvave Cube Sugar. The Cube Sugar is a multi-effects unit with IR cabinets. It has a looper, 72 different IR cabs, delay, reverb, ducking, phaser, chorus, drive, distortion and a booster. You can also preset an A, B, C and D and it has a built-in tuner. We've got a send and return for an effects loop, a headphone input, a USB output and 9 volts of power. Here's my guitar without the Cube Sugar. Okay, now for the IR cabinets to be turned on. Here's number one. Okay, setting B. C. D. E. F G and finally H Okay, so within that, we have a one to nine different presets for each individual letter that you have me play there. I'm not gonna go through them today, but there is a wide change in sound, so you've got a lot of variety coming from the Cube Sugar. We've also got a volume knob here, and that is great for if you're playing, maybe you're going straight into a PA, or you're plugging into maybe uh, just a, a plain amp or something like that, with just a clean setting. And then underneath this, we have our space setting. Now the space setting is a reverb or delay or a ducking uh, setting. Now, I'm, I've got to say before we go into this, that all these switches, they're not those sort of click switches, they're, they're sort of a press, which is a personal preference. I absolutely love that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage this space setting. We're on uh, number one, which I believe is a reverb. Press this on. Setting number one.
Finally, setting number nine. Okay, so next to that, you'll see that we've also got a, a time and mix for such a feedback setting. So, uh, let me do that again. Okay, so next to that, we've got a time and mix setting. Now, these are really easy to adjust. They're just uh, turning knobs, um, which have this really nice uh, sort of plastic sort of rubber outside. And that's really handy, especially if you're playing live or anything like that, because it stops them from getting knocked or them moving too easily. Now, next up what we have is we have our chorus and our phaser. So the way you engage this is that you press down one of these little white buttons and it turns on that setting. So you can have either both of them on at the same time or you can have one or the other. Now, let's have a listen to the chorus. Next up we have the phaser. Now let's have a listen to the chorus and the phaser on at the same time. It's something like this. Okay, so what I'd like to point out uh, is that we've also got a depth, a rate, and a level for the chorus, and then you've also got a level and I believe it's a, it's a speed for the uh, phaser. So we'll turn both phase off just for now. Um, now, these knobs are really, really uh, adjustable, so you get lots of different sounds, lots of different, uh, different textures as well from just such a uh, small and compact pedal. Uh, next up, we have our distortion. Distortion, we turn on like so. Press that on. Now, for the distortion, what I'd like to highlight is that we have this candy or salt option, and we're currently on the candy option. Now, I've got everything at 12 o'clock, so you can hear nice and clearly what this pedal does. Here we go. <laughs> Now for the salt option. Got more of a classic sound to it when the uh, candy option has more of a modern sound, I found. Okay, next up we have our drive. So the drive, we click on like so. Uh, now for the drive, we don't have these two options. All we have is a tone, a gain, and a volume. Okay, uh, finally our last thing, we've got our boost. So uh, what you could have is say, um, well you could boost your clean to start off with. You've also got a treble and a bass adjustment along with your level and your gain. Um, but you know, you could say have your drive on and then...
on solo time, knocking the drive. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I'd like to talk about is the looper on the Cube Sugar. Now, if you haven't seen my other video for the standalone uh, Cube Wave uh, looper, and well, it's essentially the same as that. Okay, so if you've already seen that, great. But this one, all you have to do is the exact same thing. You just simply press this button once, and my song is called E, and this red light will come on. You press it again, and you start your loop, and the blue light will come on. Now, as that line's running along, what it's doing is it's telling you at what point you're on your loop. Now, the volume control on this is very sensitive, which is great, because you've got a wide range there to make sure you've got the right sound. Now, if you wish to add another layer, all you have to do is simply press down the button again, and what it will do is it'll add your other loop. The red light will come on, you can chord again over the top. Say you wish to delete that, all you have to do is simply just press down the button and hold it. And what it do is we'll delete your last loop. And it's gone. Now if you wish to pause your loop, all you have to do is double tap, then press it again if you want to resume. Then if you wish to delete your loop, all you have to do is double tap, and then you press and hold. Now what you can do with this, you've also got another nine banks you can use. Okay. Now what you can do with that is if you want to record say a verse then your blue line will run along and it will keep looping that section and say you want to suddenly swap to your bridge or your chorus then what you can do is you press these two buttons when it's finished the first one it will then swap over to the second one. Okay. Now the last thing I'd like to look at is the tuner and the uh, presetting option. So if you wish to access your tuner, it's simple, really, really easy to do. All you have to do is press these two buttons here, tap them once, and we'll be on our passive mode. But then if you wish to hold them, you'll get to your tuner. Now the tuner is great, very easy to use. Simply have to just get it onto the blue line, like a standard tuner. Now, this passive setting, if you want to come off your tuner, just press any button. To get this passive setting, all we have to do is just tap these two, okay? That's what I did, okay? Now, if you wish to set your passive setting, all you have to do is simply set all your settings in your live setting, which is the L. And what we can do for that is say, um, say you would like a sound, uh, a bit of reverb, a bit of distortion, and maybe you want a bit of drive as well, maybe this is a solo sound. Then what we do is we simply hold the button we want to assign it to. So I'm going to assign it to D here. I'm going to hold it like this way. Oh, it's all assigned already. Go over to the P, which is performance mode, and then all we have to do is we press D, the lights will come on for that. And then say we've got another sound, our clean sound, press our A, which is a clean sound that I preset before this video, and it will show you it's only this setting. Anyway, that's all I can show you for today, guys. Hopefully you're gonna pick up one of these. I know I'm certainly gonna be slipping this into my gig bag. If you wanna check out any other cool uh, pedals or content or anything like that, head over to qwave.com.